Hello beautiful peeps of YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and you're watching Planning Calm. And here in this channel, I love, love, love to share with you all the many ways I can help you plan your way to calm and plan a calmer life. Now in this video, I thought I would do a throwback to one of my favorite planners and that is the Hobonichi Cousin Planner. Now in full transparency, y'all, I have not been in this planner in a minute. It's been a while. Um, I would say the last time I touched this planner was probably this summer, but I have just been in a planner rut. Um, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about, being in a planner rut. And as much as I love my other planners, I do diddly do, but sometimes just it feels monotonous going through the same thing over and over again with a lot of them. And this is the one that I've been able to stick with the longest. And um, dare I say my favorite planner? I'm not sure. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite planner is, folks. <laughs> Um, but I thought I would jump back into it in the month of October and I thought I would share you, share with you how I've been organizing because I've changed a little bit um, since the last time I was using it. Um, last time I had a lot more time on my hands just with the nature of my job, it being summer and so on. Now I'm full-time teaching, full-time in school and time is of the essence, which means I don't have a lot of it. <laughs> so um, without further ado, let's jump in. And let's get reacquainted with my Hobonichi cousin. I love this planner, love this planner. I started using it in January, 2023. And uh, this is my month view. This is the month of October. And what I have done is I've used a kit from Planner Kate. Shout out to Planner Kate, love her stickers. And I, what I've done is I have um, kind of customized it for the Hobonichi. And that's one of the things I try not to do. I try not to put myself in a box when it comes to um, stickers and stationery, things like that. If I got it, I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna find a way to make it work. <laughs> and so I just took the A5, um, kit for October. Um, I think the A5 was for my EC Daily Duo planner, which I also like. Um, and this just fits in beautifully. So this is all the stuff that I have going on in October. It's a, a, a typical month. There's a couple things I've excluded just for sake of privacy, but um, I have my October goals here. Uh, lots of things I want to accomplish this month just to kind of get back on track. Sometimes with the start of school and the hustle and the grind of everything, I just feel like I get into a rut. So having these goals helps me to stay on track and it's great. Uh, I'm trying to beef up my upload schedule. Before school started, I was uploading every Sunday and Wednesday. Now I'm fighting to do it on a Sunday and you know, I miss it because it is my it's my peace, it's my joy, it's my hobby, it's what I love to do. And I comment down below if you are in this boat as well. When you're so busy, you don't have time to enjoy your hobbies and the things you enjoy. It just makes life extra, extra <laughs> slow and tedious and all that stuff. So I'm trying to do more planning so I can be more calm. What a concept. <laughs> but this is my monthly view, like I said. And then I'm gonna jump over to my daily pages. Now, traditionally I use my daily pages as kind of like a journal type page. And I saved my weeklies for just kind of like week in advance type things. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't have time to do all three views, like the monthly view, the weekly view and the daily. Uh, I think one of the reasons why I love the EC planner is that it just focuses on the daily and I take things one day at a time and it's great for me. But if I look, if I'm looking at a weekly and I'm looking at the daily, I just, I don't have time. I don't have time. I'm just gonna be real. <laughs> so um, what I'm doing now is I'm just using the daily pages and you can see all of these pages I haven't used. Oh my gosh. Oh, get over it. Get over it. <laughs> Comment down below if blank pages stresses you out too. Just saying <laughs> if you're a planner nerd like me, but um, here is how I'm using my uh, daily pages just to help me get my life together. So uh, first things first, I do use a tab, a tab, I don't know why I said it like that, but I do use a tab and I got these from Staples and I believe they're the post-it line, but I just use that to section off what I need to get sectioned off. And then I just, you know, it's kind of half doodling, half to-do list, um, a little bit of gratitude in there, and I called it a day. Um, I just really love it. I started to um, 
really just use it for uh, purposes, just what I need it for, and that's it. Uh, stickers, I would love to use stickers, but you know, I have so many stickers are in different locations. Sometimes I'm planning on the go. Sometimes I'm playing at my desk at school. Sometimes I'm, you know, it's a weekend. Like today, I'm just relaxing with, you know, some loungy clothes and my husband's watching a basketball game and I'm just plopped down beside him and, you know, we're, I'm doing my planning. You know, it's kind of like that. So when I have stickers, sometimes I just get a little bit too carried away. I'm just not in the season of stickers this month, but you know, it'll probably change next month, honey. <laughs> Comment down below if you feel me, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but um, I really have been drawn, especially in the month of October, I really love the combination of orange and purple. And so I thought I would um, include that in my planner spread. And what I do is I just take my Tombows and just write it out. And I just find that it's really it's been really working for me. I've been being I'm able to stick to it um, today this day here yeah so what i've done is i've just uh you know just put the dates in there for the week and so tomorrow when i go to fill out this page it's all ready to go and yeah it just makes it easy simple and i love the fact that i have some gratitude in here if i want i can put a bible verse in there if i want to i have my to-do list i have my daily schedule and it just works. It's been working and I, I love it. Um, to be honest, that's, you know, all I've kind of been doing when it comes to planning. That's all I really have time for uh, right now in this busy phase that I'm in. But I'm still finding time to really plan, really carve out some time for myself and to enjoy uh, this season. Because, you know, although it is busy, um, I do love to plan and planning does bring on the calm for me and i i know it does for a lot of you too uh so yeah that's that's pretty much it folks so thank you so much short but sweet video but thank you so much for watching how i've updated using my hobonichi cousin planner comment down below and let me know um what planner you are currently using what planner fits your busy life the best i would love to know so please comment down below and if you're new to my channel let me be the first here to welcome you. I would love for you to give this video a like and also to subscribe. Stick around because there's plenty more planning calm content to come. And uh, we are so, so close to 1,000 subscribers, folks. So if you haven't been subscribed and you've been watching and viewing, please hit that little red subscribe button and let's help this community reach those goals. So thank you so, so much for watching. And until the next time, my friends, uh, take care, be well, be blessed, and I'll see y'all in the next planner video. Bye-bye, planner peeps.